and who has done a lot of research work in the field of the antennas the microstrip antennas in the microwave integrated circuits and related to all other communication i welcome here to deliver the interesting topic uh, about the lambdas it's very interesting if the students are working they will be knowing that uh, what is the importance of lambda either they talk about the planar antenna or they are talking uh, any kind of the planar antenna either it's a microstrip antenna or it's a uwb antenna or it's a, a reconfigurable antenna so every every time we talk about the lambda either it's a either it's a width is there or the electrical length is there always we talk it so i hope that uh, this will be a very interesting topic and uh, the students uh, and the participants will be beneficial from this one so i welcome uh, professor ragwan and the participants in the second session of this uh, international work workshop dr ragwan thank you thank you sir uh, professor sharma and professor uh, sanjeev yadav and uh, this is just uh, maybe after, afterwards uh, the participants can uh, send send their opinion see whenever uh, people want to design anything they keep referring the previous journal papers or uh, book like that but if you think in the form of lambda you will not forget and many more new things will uh, come out so this lecture is an attempt of that it's a, a consolidated uh, design formula in terms of lambda you can call it as a splinters of lambda or a magical lambda see we say magic t magic t there is nothing magic in that uh, it has got a four port and when you give input at one port it gets divided into other two ports and no output is coming in the fourth port in one case phase reversal happens and another case uh, first re uh, phase reversal is not happening so that is uh, in uh, e plane t and h plane t in h plane t there is no phase reversal in e plane t there is a phase reversal and it is all only in terms of uh, lambda g and i say lambda g because uh, we especially in planar transmission lines the we are interested in uh, only not whether we are interested or not there are only two lambdas what is lambda g and lambda not and lambda g is equal to lambda not by root of epsilon effective once you say this you can think about a design of any planar antennas any planar uh, transmission lines there are uh, 74 planar transmission lines even though mainly there are only five and there are many variants if you want to have the advantage of uh, both air and the dielectric then you can have different kinds of uh, combination whatever it is if you remember only in terms of lambda g design of any component design of any antenna will not be a, a very big problem at all so this is just i am consolidating many many may not know even uh, the equations of that and uh, one more thing there is no need of maxwell's equations there is only you, you should uh, you can make use of the transmission line equation and get the equation for different lambda from zero to lambda there are so many lambdas maybe many are uh, familiar with lambda g by 4 if you multiply by 2 you get lambda g by 2 again if you divide by 2 you get a lambda g by 8 so people especially the students are aware of lambda g by 8 lambda g by 4 lambda g by 2 and uh, one should know the equations of that in any case uh, not only these three there are many many lambdas 5 by 16 lambda Uh, 3 by 1 by 3 lambda there are many many things all have become popular but many people uh, just to get a shortcut uh, they keep referring but that will not give a uh, feel of it so that way uh, this uh, actually some slides are missing anyway i'll, I'll just uh, try to adjust anyway this uh, smith chart what uh, peer smith found contributed 1938 play a very big role what a 40 lakhs instrument network analyzer can do you can do with a smith chart with a geometry box again the smith chart is a jugglery of uh, different lambda g's you plot an imp point impedance and if you want to find out the admittance you go to the opposite many students say 
uh, opposite or reciprocal like that. It is not because of that you get Z to Y or Y to Z. Whenever you travel opposite, it is actually lambda G by 4. If you put lambda g by 4 in the, in, the, in the equation, which I will show soon, you will get that as z0 squared is equal to z s into z0. So lambda g by 4 acts as an impedance transformer and also it's an inverter. You bring one lambda g left side, like z0 to the other side. So you can see left side is a normalized impedance, right side is a normalized admittance. So that is the reason why z becomes y, y becomes z when you go to the opposite. Suppose in the same equation, if you put uh, L is equal to lambda G by 2, you get a popular uh, relationship as Z as is equal to Z out. That's what you call is a repeater. That is the reason why the circumference of a circle is lambda by 2. You start from a point, go full ground, come to the same point. Then you will reach the same thing. In fact, uh, if you take any antenna, either L or W, Approximately, it is lambda by 2 only. The another name for a antenna is a resonator or a, a repeater. And uh, after that, uh, you should remove the correction factor left side and right side. That is the reason why L and W are slightly different. You find out which material you are using. You just check uh, what kind of uh, antenna you are doing. Irrespective of the antenna, the lambda G by 2 remains uh, same for the particular material. Maybe the profile will be different depending upon whether you take coplanar or waveguide, fin line or anything like that. So that way, uh, this is the small interaction of the importance of uh, lambda g. And uh, the right side top, you are seeing one cake. If you go to Google and Yahoo and if you type uh, Smith chart cake, you will get like this. So this is not a printable, a printed chart pasted on the cake. Uh, one student did it. Uh, by JPG program uh, fully using the equation of tau is equal to zr minus z0 by z0 plus z0. It has been uh, drawn, x circle, r circle. So many types of lambda, not only lambda g by 4, many, many lambdas. You know very well the upper lambdas, lambda g by 4 will give inductance and lower will give capacitance depending upon whether you take uh, impedance curve or, uh, uh, or an admittance uh, switch chart. Then what you see is every point is shifted by lambda g by 4. So that way, at the time, you can work with both impedance as well as the admittance. So this is called the emittance chart. Then you know very well, reflection coefficient cannot be more than one. Still, there are some cases where you can have more than one. Then you can have the compressed switch chart. In any case, I request if the, uh, all the delegates, if they have not downloaded, to download application note 154, that gives a lot of information. The concise 32 pages give everything, whatever you want to know about the lambda Gs and uh, micro amplifier, micro oscillator, different types of switch chart, compressed switch chart, 3D switch chart. Plus, in addition to that, uh, there's another way, interesting website, Microwave 101. You will come to know many, many interesting things like uh, why S is called, SK is called, K, 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 everything. So these two will be a, a starting, uh, maybe you can say starter for a beginner to know what is microwave, what is antenna, what is lambda G's. Okay, we can go to the next uh, next slide, please. Okay, in uh, planar antennas or in microwaves, you've got four sets of circles. And with that, you can do wonders. One is, you know, Smith chart that is based on the reflection coefficient. The other one is a constant gain circle. So you, you should match in the input side as well as the, in the output side. So for that, you should have the constant gain circle. And uh, you can easily find out the starting equation from the transducer gain, operating power gain, and uh, the GP. By these three, you can have different kinds of uh, circles, constant gain circle. The second, third one is about the stability circles. You have got a well-known uh, expression for Taubin in terms of uh, scattering parameters. That as the starting point, you can draw the uh, stability circle. And that is where you can find out whether the point is in the stable point or an unstable point. Finally, the noise figure circle. So these four are the only set of circles 
again you got uh, it is in the form of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared so that way you have got different starting equation by that you can have all these forces that will be a complete one for the analysis of uh, either an antenna or an active antenna or passive antenna any other components including amplifiers and oscillators as a, a system uh, next please okay these are the components again antenna also is a component it is all everywhere lambda by 2 by taking it to the correction you take all these things all are in the s band s band is uh, uh, 24 the first one is power divided and again it is uh, lambda by 2 and uh, you, you should know how to match input side and output side you have to see whether two impedance are in coming in parallel or two are getting divided two is it not into two is it not that should get connected with is it not so that way if you want to connect these two again you should can have the lambda g by four from top to bottom it is a power divider bottom to top is a power combiner the second one is a backward coupler it is only the lambda g by four if you take the coupled section it is lambda g by two the next is a rat trace coupler rat trace coupler the circumference is 3 by 2 times of uh, lambda g by 4. It is 1.5 times. So upper you have got 3 by 4 lambda g by 4. Bottom you have got another uh, lambda g, 3 lambda g by 4. So by that you can see where it is added, where it is getting subtracted. Likewise, if you go for a two-step branch line coupler, again it is a, a series branch and shunt branch. Uh, you can have, you will have a lambda g by 4. And the thumb rule to calculate the lambda g is theta is equal to beta l. You should know what is the circumferential theta, electrical angle, and also what is the beta l. Beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda g. You can find out what is the length. And theta is, suppose if we take a rat race, 12 theta is the circumferential distance. That is equal to 2 pi by lambda g into l. From that, you can know what is each value of l. So again, back video coupler. Back video coupler also, it is lambda g by 4. It is not only the multiple of lambda g by 4, you will come across uh, many more lambda g's. It is a really a miracle, no active device. The, it is only the length what makes everything possible. Yes, please. Uh, yes, next slide, please. Uh, OK, this, uh, uh, this is the uh, is a small book. Uh, this is uh, because uh, actually I do not encourage students, research scholars, directly to use the commercial software. It should be used, but at the end. But as a microwave person, as an antenna person, you should derive everything. You can use it either uh, uh, Python or MATLAB and get everything done. And then you can finally verify with the commercial software. In that attempt, only this book has come as the MIC component design through MATLAB. Now, these days, people go for the uh, Python. In any case, if you, uh, it is not, uh, uh, if you, uh, if you do it on your own coding, definitely the acceptance rate for the journal paper also will be uh, higher. And also, you can, one can have a feeling of that, whichever antenna you take. Yes, please. Uh, next one. Okay, these are the concise components. The first one is a uh, uh, bandpass filter. You should go for a ZOO, ZOO, even mode couple, odd mode couple, everything. And each one is of lambda g by 4. Whereas if you come for the power divider, again it is uh, lambda g by 4 will come. Uh, some other lambdas also will come. That you can make use of the novogram, either using Wheeler's chart or uh, the other uh, two novograms. You can find out what is the lambda to be used. Yes, please. Uh, next. Okay, uh, these are the profiles. See, the length will remain same, but profile will be different. Uh, and what I mean to say is, if you are very good in design of any one strip, line, one transmission line, the same logic will go for any other transmission line. Only thing is the cross section will be different. Strip line and micro strip. The first case you will use epsilon or the second case you will use epsilon effective because of uh, one is homogeneous, other is inhomogeneous. Whereas slot line cross section is different. CPW everywhere you will get two. So you should use a nomogram of S by S plus W. Fin line cross section will be different. But the length remains same. And the epsilon effective, you can uh, you yourself can derive using the full wave analysis 
or you can refer to the bibles each planar transmission line has got a bible a strip line is for harley and ho micro strip is a tc edwards coplanar waveguide uh, yes uh, rn simon fin line professor bharathi but uh, so that way you can refer to that but before that as an antenna engineer you should derive all those things yes next please uh, next slide please okay this is the uh, concise consolidated applications of the smith chart and one i think one can say a valentine diagram also it is not drawn purposely to get a heart shape if you draw the input reflection coefficient output reflection coefficient if you join all the points it automatically comes like that the take home story is one should have an affinity towards the uh, smith chart where you have got so much of uh, lambdas different types of lambdas are given including the uh, 3d smith chart yes please next okay uh, this is the one um, h plane t if you see the micro 101 it will tell easily you will not forget even easily bendable is e plane t it is difficult to uh, hard to bend is h plane t in the h plane t S12, S13 will be same of the uh, of the power one by root two. Uh, direction also will not get changed. Now I am showing few waveguide components. Then go to the uh, MIC version. Okay, next please. Okay, this is your um, again uh, the H plane T. Uh, next please. Next slide. Okay. Now he can see E plane T, H plane T. where the phase reversal comes and phase reversal is not there and that's how you can go for uh, uh, first of all power uh, scattering parameter square is the power and that way you can write 1 by root 2 as the scattering parameter in one case you should have a negative sign other case we don't have once you join it is eht or you call it as a magic t all these things you should get it in the planar version uh, yes please uh, next okay this is the uh, field diagram field strength diagram in the resonator the circumferential uh, circ length is two times of lambda g by 4 left to right is a power divider right to left is a power uh, combiner so this is what is being done in e plane t or h plane t okay next slide please okay this is a combination uh, this only later on you can see Uh, in the form of a two step branch line coupler or in the uh, rat race coupler yes please uh, yes okay next next slide please next okay this is again uh, about the mode uh, either in this uh, rectangular waveguide or a circular waveguide this mode m and n that is also designated in terms of the lambda how many half side variation along a side b side similarly in a circular one in the in the form of uh, uh, circular variation and the radial variation this mode is very very important then only you can connect one planar transmission line into the other planar transmission that is very important in the uh, planar uh, antennas yes please uh, next uh, see here Uh, now other than lambda g by 4 you are now seeing some other lambdas like that there are so many lambdas see 0.00 see we say very less height less height means what because microwaves is called call it as a centimeter wave if you go to micro electromechanical system that becomes bigger uh, whereas if you go to nano micro becomes bigger so you tell only in terms of lambda g's so height is it is in between uh, 0.003 lambda g and less than 0.05 lambda g it will not exceed more than that normally we say the height uh, h is 1 by 16th of an inch that comes as a 1.6 mm and if you tell specifically they will go for uh, uh, some other 1 by 32 or 1 by 8 so that way you can see Uh, L is approximately equal to two times of lambda g by four. Why approximately is you find out lambda g by two, then remove uh, delta L. That also one need not take the reference. You can easily find out 
how that connection factor is uh, calculated. Here you can see, suppose if you want to connect this 50 ohms to that uh, patch antenna, you should know the patch antenna uh, impedance. Then only you can take the square root of that impedance and 50 ohms. How to get that? That is again by lambda. See, it is given. Our input is 60 times of lambda by width. So now you, you are now seeing 60 times of lambda. You are seeing 0 0.05 lambda. See, why? You should ask why and all. So you put 0 0.003, 0 0.03 in the transmission line equation. That is uh, Z is equal to, I will show it. Z0 into Zr cos H gamma L, Z0 sin H gamma L. Denominator, you replace the interchange Z0, Z0. In that, if you put different values of lambda for L, you will come to know why it is 0 0.003 lambda, 0 0.05 lambda. All those things you will come to know. Everything is only in terms of uh, lambda G by 4. Uh, it is not lambda G by 4, it is all in lambda G. So one should not, one need not go for a trial and error method. You can even see the diameters should be less than lambda G by 5. So like that, you come, you will come across many, many lambdas in the, I will show you, it will come, I will show you a different application of that. Yes, please. Okay, now, uh, you know very well, you need one uh, array. Suppose if the specification of a single patch is not sufficient, you should go for array. Like uh, you can see conventional array in uh, uh, Tirupati antenna station or uh, Uti, Muttore, TIFR. This is a planar version array. So again, if you want to get divided, uh, everywhere it should satisfy Z0 square is equal to Z as into Z0. You design the antenna in terms of lambda G by 2, remove the correction factor, then every place it should satisfy Z0 square is equal to Z as into Z0. So even in array, whether it's a 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 4 by 4, any number of uh, M by N, the distribution can be done only by the uh, application of lambda g by 4 and also using that equation for every lambda you should uh, put in that uh, transmission line equation gets its purpose application property by that you can uh, tell what will be the output you can predict all those things so that way accurately you can find out you can even see some metering and chamfering also you know that is because of the discontinuity in many of the planar transmission line, discontinuity has come, has been as matured enough. And uh, that's why you, uh, you can, from using that, you can find out where to meter it, at what angle, all those things. So that if you do it, then there will not be much difference between the shared values and the, and the uh, theoretical values. So discontinuity also you should take into account. There also, there also in terms of lambda g, formulas are there you can easily derive it if you go for the discontinuity analysis using the full layer techniques. Yes, next please. Okay, here again, if we want to go for a quadrature antenna or if we want to uh, give the field point, this is one of the different methods. So again, it is in terms of lambda by 4. That uh, again, if you take the total, it becomes two times of that. Again, you can take the two stub uh, branch line coupler, which is the exact uh, replica of what I have shown in the waveguide version. Here you can see automatically the lambda G by 4 will give 90 degrees or it's, or it's in the reversal. If you want 90 degrees, you can have a lambda G by 4 and uh, it need not be exactly round figure like that. You just to follow the rule theta is equal to beta L. You can have 42.3, 42.3 phase shift if you want to have you can easily find out what is the lambda. In fact, if you write down the S matrix of a phase shifter, it is all, ideally it will be 0, 0 in S1, 1, S2, 2. S1, 2, S2, 1 will be E raised of minus J beta L. It all depends upon the length. The length only makes different uh, phase shift uh, possible. Uh, next, please. Uh, ne next slide, please. Uh, next one, please. Uh, okay. See here, uh, this is what I told you. Find out lambda g by two, and then uh, take the correction factor. So two times of delta l, left side, right side. How to find out delta l? Actually, this is you can easily uh, study or you can understand from the Hammerstein. First, you understand 
then you yourself should, should delay. You should know how to get 0 0.412, 0 0.3, 0 0.264. That's all you can get it by from the, your full analysis. Again, now you see another, another type of uh, wavelength it has come. So that way, what I want to tell is, if you want to design, there are only three parameters. Only height, second is width, the third is the length. Height is manufacturer's concern. You don't need to worry about it. The remaining things are width and the length. The length, you can simply do the miracle in terms of lambda g's. Whether you go for fractal antenna or uh, Dr. M.M. M. Sharma's expertise, uh, FSS or meta material, all can be in terms of uh, lambda g's. We can see, I will show the examples. In any case, here, uh, everyone uses this as the delta L, but half the people may not know how to get that delta L correction factor. So to understand that, you go to the paper. Incidentally, I would like to tell, um, if you go through the IRE paper, before IE, IEEE paper, IRE paper came, then only it became IEEE. So all those between 1960 and 70, you can see the heritage papers, CP, very he found his coplanar waveguide. So that novogram, if you refer to the 1969 paper, you will get it. So in any case, one should not mug up. You should understand. If you think in terms of lambda g, at least 50% of the design factor will be in your hands. As far as width is concerned, you can. Uh, it is uh, decided from the impedance. That is either by Wheeler's diagram or uh, in the coupled mode diagram. So this is another application of the lambda g's. But this one, everyone may be familiar. Whenever you need a delta L, they use these fa uh, factors. But you should know how to get it. Similarly, how to find out epsilon effective. For each of the planar transmission line, there is a method of finding out epsilon effective. That's what you will find out in the respective Bible, like R and Simon and other thing. Next slide, please. OK, this is uh, one. This is the equation. Using that equation, if you find out the reflection coefficient and plot it, it automatically, accidentally comes as the cardioid uh, uh, figure. So the only take comes to a message is one should have an affinity. Many may not know what a smith chart can do for the antenna analysis, especially for feed point. People keep on try and see where you can locate it. There is no need of trial and error method. You can make use of the smith chart for the antenna analysis. So it's not only you will have a feeling of that, the journal paper also, you can very proudly say it is all from uh, your own effort. So that plus measurement or that plus uh, your own coding, definitely your paper will be an uh, acceptable paper. You can come out with some uh, new things. Okay, next please. Okay, this is again, um, this is a, it's a title by Smith Chart as an art. If you see each diagram, Every small particle is in terms of uh, lambda g's. This is a very popular paper by Madhu Gupta uh, as a smith chart as an art. I wish you see this paper and uh, enjoy, just like a Rangoli or any other uh, uh, column. Yes, next please. Uh, next, next please. Uh, yes, please. Uh, yes, okay. We have got uh, 10 commandments, like Moses promulgated 10 commandments. We have got 10 commandments that you can see in the lever geta. That is sufficient. Like, uh, uh, as far as the equations are concerned, four Maxwell's equation, four uh, boundary conditions, two Hemore's equation. Like that, we have got uh, 10 commandments. That is sufficient to understand the antenna theory or micro theory. One of the commandment, uh, please, uh, next slide, please. Next slide. Uh, okay. One of the commandments, thou shalt lay out micro component with great care, knowing that spacing and heights are very critical. See, it is all length. It is 0.3453 mm. If it is slightly more, it will act as an inductor. If it is slightly less, it will act as a capacitor. So you should be exactly to the third or fourth decimal of mm one should draw. That is why there are different techniques are there. The conventional technique is you multiply any lambda by 1000 times. Draw it in a very big coordinate graph and reduce it by 1000 times. That is how 
the red litho paper techniques is used for drawing, for fabricating the lambdas. So there are so many, uh, these 10 commandments are very, very important. The last commandment, but for microwaves, none of the present day technology would have come to the present state of wonders. But one of the important, the height, the width is very, very critical. So we can see, because if you draw a relationship with the lambda versus uh, ZSC or ZOC, you can see uh, when it becomes a inductor, when it becomes a capacitor. We don't talk about R and G because we are working with silver or we are working with a high frequency. So among RGLC, we will be concentrating only with LLC. RNG will not come at all as long as you are uh, using a material like uh, silver, which has which has got a very high conductivity, and also frequency R plus J omega L omega is very very high. So if you know L and C, see in the whole world there are only two elements L and C in our antenna concern, and that can be connected in series and parallel. So if you know series and parallel and L and C, many things can be done. So that way one should analyze by himself or herself without directly going for the uh, commercial stuff to our application. Yes, next please. Yes, next slide. Okay, see, um, you go to meta materials. See, meta materials again, one should be thorough with the transmission line. That theory, if you one knows, all epsilon and mu make it less than zero. Then that is the theory of the meta material. So the same transmission line equation, transmission line theory, replace the epsilon and mu less than zero. Then you can keep expanding your meta materials. Again, you have got the unit element. Unit element also, in terms of lambda only, you can uh, have a separation, either photonic band gap structure or a meta material or EBG. All classification is only on the based on lambdas first of all you take the unit element then compare with the r find out the lambda g far far less than lambda g equal to lambda g far far greater than lambda g by that you can classify you go to the substrate integrated waveguide technology the bridge between the planar transmission line and the waveguide siw also you know popular four equations that equation you should satisfy Initially, it's a waveguide thing. Then that you should uh, amalgamate with the uh, planar transmission line. So that four time, I will just show you. Uh, four equations are needed to go for the design of the SIW because the holes should not be very close. It should not be far away also. And also uh, the rows, rows also should maintain a certain distance. So the diameter. So all is all the things are in terms of it is not a neat expression. It is not like expressions are neat. It is not a neat wavelength. It is not lambda g by four. It is not lambda g by two. It is all different. Lambda g by ten. Lambda g by four. I will show this. Those four are very very popular. By that only one can be careful in designing SIW antenna or whatever in the SIW. Likewise, photonic band gap. Then. Uh, the uh, I already told the stalwart Professor M. M. Sharma has done uh, along with uh, the coordinator uh, Sanjeev Yadav have done uh, work on FSS. See, FSS is uh, a new name. Again, many may not know. Uh, J.C. Bose have got, contributed a lot in meta materials even before Victor Vesselago, even frequency selective surface. See, frequency selective surface, the other name is. It is a spatial filter. That's what I used to say. If one is very good in filter, all other things are very, very easy because filter has got more L and C. If you take an antenna, single antenna, it is only one LC. So that way, if a person is very strong in filters, that too, if you're thorough with the uh, Matha and Young Jones, all other things will be a, a child's play. So the frequency selective surface, again, you take a small unit. That gets repeated in M by N. And that also has to follow uh, some sort of, I can show you, if you take uh, different standard forms of uh, unit cells are there, you can see one by three lambda. The perimeter is one by three lambda is a popular, uh, for a popular unit structure of a FSS. 
likewise antenna dra dra also resonator resonator is the another name for lambda g by 2 dra also the the bible for that is a, a book written by mongia again most of the bibles are written by indians or japanese or chinese and uh, they have contributed lot in microwaves and no wonder our isros whenever isro launch satellite the whole world see us especially the mars mission what they have achieved everyone know why i keep telling isro here is the if at all there is a success in their uh, launching satellites because of the planar transmission lines antennas or components that's all in planar version so that is why height the weight and the volume are very very less which is a very important factor in this satellite so again now all these techniques have started uh, invading and uh, likewise transmission lines wave guys components everything you say something definitely that will form a place here in all the things if you can think in the form of lambda g's you will not forget you will understand the principle thoroughly design will be very easy new for for uh, new functions will come and uh, incidentally i would like to say my scholar accidentally he came out with a very new invention in uh, invention or discovery in ephesus the uh, tamil or this uh, prime minister uh, raksha mandri all the people were carried over that he was given the man of the dare to dream plus 5 lakhs on all the things why, why i am telling is the research should be of societal value see many many things fss you know fss can even act as a uh, ema emc shielding for uh, ct mri ct mri diagnosis even covid but which one will save god the ct and mri the fss meta material part played in biomedical again is uh, enormous that is very very important now you know this covid detection can easily be done in fss and meta material which is again designed by knowing different types of uh, lambda so any anyway, all these things the uh, the application of all these things in the medical side that is a separate ocean so there also indians play a very big role there's a bible written by op gandhi biological effect of microwave so what all we see antenna if you go for implantable antenna material also will be different again there's a book by uh, mt sebastian uh, implantable antenna material in, in any case uh, it will become a smaller one or it will become bigger one smaller bigger on what way we can say it is all only in terms of the lambda g's okay next uh, next please okay next next one next next please uh, next slide next 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 please uh, okay this is again the magic uh, the directional coupler the directional coupler in uh, mic version either in a strip line or micro strip if it is a strip line it will be epsilon naught uh, the length the lambda g lambda naught by if it is a micro strip it will be epsilon effective but here it is uh, every uh, stub uh, series and shunt it has got lambda g by 4 uh, the circumference is four times of lambda g by 4 whereas if we go for a uh, rat race it is uh, six times of lambda g by 4 or uh, uh, 3 by 2 of lambda g so that way 1.5 lambda g so the circumference are each one will get different these are all for uh, uh, conventional one you can have any kind of two stub branch line coupler this is a particular case as a three stub you know this a power division so only we have is it not by root 2 in the series arm whereas there it is is it not into root 2 that's only a particular case but you can all design even for a 3.33 dc decibel any decibel you give you can find out s13 from there you get s12 get what is the impedance if you get the impedance uh, you can get the width of that as far as the length is concerned uh, you need depending upon the phase shift you can find out whether it is a lambda g by 4 or 0.33 lambda g or whatever it is so again you should make use of the uh, angle 
theta is equal to beta L. Oh, next, please. Okay, next. Uh, this is one. The left side is uh, four times our lambda g by four. Where you see rat trace. Rat trace is a particular uh, case of a hybrid ring where y is equal to y b. That's why the circumference has got the same width, uh, and it is root two into z naught. The circumference is six times of uh, lambda g by four. Upper one is three times of lambda g by four. Lower one is three times of lambda g by four. And you can do the even more and more analysis and go for uh, uh, the formulae. How to find out the width, how to find out the length. So these are all the neat versions of lambda g by 4, integer times of lambda g by 4. But there are many, many cases where it is different other than lambda g by 4. Yes, please. Next. Next. Okay. This is the um, uh, field thing. Field strength uh, picture again, not not from the commercial software, not from the uh, MATLAB uh, simulation. Yes, next please. Okay, here again, uh, it is because of the lambda g by four, you get uh, zero output in one, and uh, added output in another one, because the e raised to the power two times of lambda g by four is different from two times of e raised to the power of lambda g by four. So that way, um, again, you can see what is the application of lambda g by 4. There is no active component. There is nothing inside, uh, no source. Because of the lambda g by 4, you get uh, added output in one. You get, that's not a coupled output. Other, there is no output. You get an isolated output. And that's why you say the directivity is uh, infinite in a directional coupler. So the same thing you can realize in the planar version. And this is very much needed in feeding, in giving the voltage or in feeding the uh, planar transmission, planar antennas. Yes, yes, please. Yes, next. Uh, this is the waveguide version. The same thing you can do it as I shown, two step branch line coupler. It is all, there are two holes called bedding holes inside. That is separated by lambda j by four. Uh, next slide, please. Next, please. Next, this is also four port, but you call a hybrid ring. A particular case you call a EHT. Yes, next. Uh, next, uh, okay, next, please. Uh, this is the equation. I wish uh, you re get yourself a reminder or at least make a note of it. This is sufficient to design any of the things. See, here, this is for a general transmission line. For a lossless transmission line, gamma will be equal to beta only. Alpha will become zero. So this will become ZR cos beta L plus JZ0 sin beta L. Denominator is Z0 cos beta L plus JZ0 sin beta L. Beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda G. Now, you put various values of L. If you put lambda g by 4, you get z0 square is equal to z s into z r. If you put uh, L is equal to lambda g by 2, you get z s equal to z r. If you put uh, lambda g by 8, you get the modulus of z s equal to modulus z r. Not only that, you put uh, L is equal to 0 0.01 lambda g. Then you will get uh, some other equation. That equation is the property of not 3, not 4, not 5. You any length that you will get from this equation the property of that. You will get everything. No need of Maxwell's equation for designing of the planar antenna or designing of the planar version of the uh, components, MIC components. This is more than sufficient. Many more Chandrayaan can get launched, Mars mission can get launched, human space mission can get launched. So this is of that much value and uh, Seeing is believing. You start putting various values of length from zero to lambda g. You will come across so many properties and that you can verify it from already uh, understood theory. Okay, the next, next please. Okay, this is the same equation. Uh, which only you should use? Beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda g. Uh, the, this equation is got from the previous one by putting alpha is equal to zero. This is for uh, lossless transmission line. And uh,
Okay, this is for a lossless transmission line. From this only, you can derive the property of any length of transmission line. Definitely not more than lambda. Zero to lambda, again, everything will get repeated. So this is very, very important. This alone one should take. Uh, from here only, you get everything. A, B, C, D, Z, C, Z, O, C. You tell something that you can get it from this one. And not from no need of uh, Maxwell's equations. This is sufficient. Yes, please. Next. Next one. Okay, this is the one I have been telling. There are only two elements in the world, inductor and capacitor. There are only two types of connections, series and parallel. So this is the thumb rule. You go clockwise, anti-clockwise. In the impedance, you will get series L and series C. You go in the uh, susceptance one, in the emittance chart. Then you will get susceptive inductance, susceptive capacitance. Do you have anything other than that? Nothing. And uh, here you can see 0 0.003, 0 0.05. Listen, what we need is anything you take, you should know how to get the equivalent circuit. The equivalent circuit of anything is only in terms of LNC. If you take a magnetron, cavity is one LNC. You take a FSS. FSS, you got equivalent circuit. There is a, um, even a metamer, everything has got equivalent circuit. Equivalent circuit are not having any other component other than LNC. So if you know how to get LNC, how to fabricate, then you can do anything. Filters is your, uh, it is in your packet. And filters so many LC, whereas in antenna only one LC. So that way, that's why I used to say, if you are very good in filters, all other things will be very simple. That's why equivalent diagrams are very, very important. In your equivalent diagram, there won't be even the R in our uh, micro frequency for antenna and other than that. So you should go. It's very simple. It is not at all a difficult one. It is not an aversion subject. It is only a jugglery of uh, uh, this LNC that is in network theory a lumped one. Here it is a distributed one. You should realize it. It's all in terms of lambda g. If it is a short circuit one, if it is less than lambda g by 4, it will act as an inductor. If it is a, a more than lambda g by 4, it will act as a capacitor. The same thing we'll do in the opposite for an open circuit. But short circuit is it, uh, enough. A short circuit is preferred. Zero to lambda g by 4, for any of the inductance, any of the capacitors, you should choose. Either using a Smith chart or using your that equation, you can find out. So that is where the lambda g plays a very big role. OK, next, please. So you, uh, this is the one. Uh, see, if you can make the distributed theory in the form of a lumped theory, you can play like anything. See, maximum power transfer theorem is only is told as reflection coefficient 0. Uh, so the same way, uh, the best book you can take a rider book. Second part distributed one, if you can put it in the form of a lumped one, you can easily, antenna subject will not be a, uh, difficult at all. So this is, there are only two methods of realizing an inductor and a capacitor. One is in this method, uh, it is called the low impedance, high impedance method. The other one is stub method. These are the only two methods that you can uh, take different length in terms of lambda, get various values of uh, inductor and uh, capacitor. Next, please. Next slide. OK, now if you see one, uh, this uh, stub method of filter, see everywhere it is the length is lambda g by 8. Only the width differs because the impedance differs. These are the only two methods of realizing inductor and uh, capacitor. When you can do this many LC, why is it difficult to have only one, one single LC? So all the lengths are same. In this method, length are same, width are different. Whether in the, stub, in the high impedance, low impedance method, length will get changed, but width will remain same because the thumb rule for inductor capacitor are 20 and 100 for low impedance and high impedance. So this is where you can see what uh, lambda g plays in the uh, stub method of filter. Okay, next one. Okay, here you can see the wave impedance versus the lambda if you draw a curve. You can see at the near field and the far field, the values of the impedance. Even the impedance gets changed in the near field and far field, and that de depends upon the wavelength. 
now you can go along the x direction and you can easily calculate what is the e value what is the h value when it is coinciding so wave impedance you can calculate no need to use the instrument you can calculate you can you can uh, predetermine so that again there again the lambda plays a very big role okay next please Okay, this is the one. Now, if a person is thorough in each component, you can rig it up. Then you get a system. See, you can have the, the it has got everything. You've got a rat race coupler. If, you, if it is 90 degrees, then it is a lambda g by 4. If it is 180 degrees, it will be three, six times of lambda g by 4. Or it is the other way also. Uh, low pass filter is there, stub matching is there. Almost the six, seven components are uh, in this properly rigged. So this is an example where uh, you can get the system once you are thorough with the uh, component. So you can make use of it for the... Uh, yes, next please. Okay, next. Uh, okay, here. Uh, see, the left side is 2 Z0, 2 Z0 coming in parallel. That is to be matched with the Z0. So take the square root of these two, and that is the sanctity of a lambda g by 4. The another method is, next slide please. Okay, here you should think of Z0 coming in parallel. So Z0 should be matched with Z0 by 2. That's why you get Z0 by root 2. Again, this is due to the sanctity of a lambda g by 4. So this is the layout of a two-way two -way power divider. And if you put one resistor between 2 and 3, and that value also is of the value 2 Z0, that is said to be the popular Wilkinson power divider. Again, it is the jugglery of uh, lambda Gs. OK, next, please. Uh, this is the six times, six times of uh, uh, lambda G by 4. So you just uh, find out. You go clockwise, anti-clockwise, find out whether it is adding or reversing. Uh, see, in fourth port, nothing. It will, it will get cancelled. So it is all in terms of lambda G. Whether it is you get plus sign or minus sign, it all depends upon how much you travel left side or right side and take the effective one. Somewhere it is getting added, somewhere it will get subtracted. So, so that is the, again, theory in a directional coupler where you don't get the output and because of that only you get the uh, ideal directional to have the directivity as the infinity okay next please it's all only ah uh, this is what i've been telling when you want to design siw these four equation you should have in your mind see it is you have some other lambda g it is not uh, the popular three you have got 0 0.005 0 0.025 0 0.25 all these things one should take care of and that is how they should space they should go for the holes placing and the interlacing all these things these four equations one should have in mind which is only in terms of lambda g's so there is no need to bug up what are the values of previous papers or a journal like that okay next slide please Okay, next, uh, uh, this is the combination. This is in microwaves, MIC or antenna, if you want to do the analysis, one easiness they have made. Most of the components are having similarity, symmetrical. So whenever you have a symmetry, you can separate it by PP dash, electric wall or magnetic wall, corresponding to short circuit, open circuit, and uh, short, odd mode and uh, even mode. Then you can go for half mode analysis, and 50% of the work, 50% of the CPU time can be saved. If the if a person is understanding the design of this, then the same thing, simply you can extend it to the uh, stub, uh, this uh, rat race coupler. Here you get theta by 2, theta by 2. Where there it is theta, 2 theta, 3 theta. Uh, but in both cases, you've got uh, three matrix. One in uh, odd mode analysis, other is even mode analysis. Okay, the best book for all these things are strip line like transmission lines by Professor Bharati Butt. Okay, next please. Okay, this is the analysis method. Okay, next. Next. Okay, uh, this is simply uh, lambda g by 4 alone. That will see that you get added voltage in one point, you get uh, zero voltage in another point. That's why you say isolated port and uh, coupled port. 
sometimes it will, it will be in the forward wave or in the backward wave this is a uh, and coupling also can have edge coupling or in the end coupling okay next please okay this is the method of uh, representing in a way it is a network theory but it has got the components are in the distributed co constant is that not and uh, gamma okay next please okay next everything is in terms of lambda see here far field region near field region uh, see you know very well uh, whenever you want to do the uh, antenna te test measurement you get 2d squared by lambda again in terms of lambda you see what is the reactive near field now you see a new figure 0.62 times of d squared by lambda g in the equation you should put 0.62 to this value of lambda g if you put you will get that property or or if you know the property you can get 0.62 how the uh, person got this 0.62 so you should not think uh, take it as granted you should derive it by knowing the property you can come to the lambda g that way you can design this 6.2 uh, lambda g length will remain same but cross profile that will be different for a uh, planar for uh, cpw or gcpw uh, see five planar transmission lines uh, cross section is uh, you should uh, one should know thoroughly and also the modes of propagation and uh, you know air as uh, air dielectric if you take the loss is very less but miniaturization is not got but miniaturization is the mantra for planar transmission lines but when you go for miniaturization you have to forego uh, power so if you can combine these two wonders can be done in fact that is the philosophy of micro electro mechanical system or you take uh, siw so you can combine you can elongate it you can invert it you can suspend it so that is why you can have 74 planar transmission lines once you are thorough with the five planar transmission line especially the strip line it was uh, it was just uh, sb cohen he unfold the coaxial line so that's why both uh, supports uh, uh, pure tm the next one is quasi tm non tm hybrid mode so you should know everything about the mode and you should know each planar transmission line dominant mode then you can say uh, the property uh, suppose for example fin line it supports hybrid mode whatever you know hybrid mode that is the property of the uh, fin line so so what i want to what i am this lecture concentrates is regarding the lambda g's you have seen so many lambda g's now it is 0.62 i will show little more uh, please uh, next slide please okay uh, next uh, you can uh, oh, this is just uh, about the fabrication technology okay next slide okay this is our world mic world everything is there different uh, uh, structures uh, fss i will not i will show you meta materials there it's all in it's all in terms of lambda g only different types of lambda g even if you go for srr it is a csrr it is all in terms of lambda g's okay next please okay again uh, this is a waveguide bend waveguide bend it is not uh, integer times of lambda g by 4 it is a little bit different that you can easily derive it okay the next one next one next please okay this is a summary of the filter here if you take the coupled section that is lambda g by four you have k inverter or j inverter because it is lambda g by four uh, it can have 90 degrees you can have minus or positive the second method of deriving is the short circuit or open circuit this is what i meant as a uh, stub method here the length is lambda g by 8 because we say very small very small means how much if you take lambda g by 8 then uh, tan of that will become 1 okay the next next please okay this is a uh, you know you can in this center you got one patch antenna that uh, that is for higher frequency the right side is for a lower frequency you can easily find out if you know the in terms of lambda you can uh, find out what is the impedance of the patch you know about 50 ohms 
50 ohms and patch antenna you can take the square root that is the uh, impedance of the matching transformer the length is lambda g by 4 if that uh, specification is not sufficient go for array m by n again you should make use of the lambda g by 4 only so here you have the discontinuity effect is there to overcome discontinuity effect you can have a circular version also so again if you go for circular version the perimeter will be in terms of uh, uh, different types of uh, lambda g every time i am telling lambda g because it is lambda not by root of epsilon defective once i say lambda g it takes care of any of the materials next next please okay here band pass filter again everything is coupled one is lambda g by 4 the total is lambda g by 2 and one side is one is a broad side other is a n side next one what you see left side bottom right left is uh, this is in the high impedance low impedance method of a low pass filter yes next please this are the profile um, layout profile for a s band components uh, again it's a combination of different components the layout it is all in terms of lambdas in any case uh, there are only two things length and the width the width is determined from by knowing the impedance again the impedance also in many cases you can get it by for formula of lambda which i have shown in the first case and uh, the next one is the what is the length length makes a uh, uh, very very important factor in the design length and the width yes next please next uh, this is a low pass filter five section low pass filter when you can do five section lc what is the difficulty in doing one lc that you can multiply that is what is repeated in the fss or uh, uh, meta material in a different structure a band pass filter okay next please okay next okay see this is a very interesting figure this i uh, um See, uh, the length makes a single, say, almost all the uh, width are same. But if you want to have a two band, see, it all depends. Suppose if you have lambda g by 2, short circuit will be short circuit only at the starting point. Suppose if it is lambda g by 4, short will become open. Open will become short. So it all depends upon what is the wavelength difference or wavelength addition. By that, you can have in a very simple way, you can have two band structure, two band antenna. Yes, next please. Uh, this is what uh, is realized in terms of lambda. I showed the previous case. Okay, so this is this I got from Bancroft. It's a very good book for uh, designing many of the components, many of the antennas. Yes, next please. Uh, next slide okay now you you can see see many many times student when you take this uh, tabular column they take a tabular column of uh, some other paper and what they do is they can just slightly increase or decrease that's how they do all the dimensions w1 w2 l1 l2 all those things but everything has got in terms of lambda g's if you tell in terms of lambda g is no need of a trial and error method you can simply make use of that formula here in this uh, slide it is there in the slide the first slide or next slide also uh, different types of lambda if you can express w1 w2 l1 l2 l3 sometimes the even tabular column will be a very bigger one so all those things if you can do it in terms of lambda g then you can proudly say it is your contribution not only that, if you understand a small technique, you can uh, go ahead with the design of many things without going for a trial and error method. Here, everything is expressed in terms of uh, lambda g's. Okay, next, please. Okay, see, this is formula. W1, W2, everything is given under 3 is given in the in terms of 0 0.869, 0 0.35, 0 0.113. 0 0.01. So this, if you take for any frequency, any substrate, you can carry on. 
don't need to go for a trial and error method. Yes, please. Next. Uh, next slide. Uh, next slide. Okay, here. Here again, you can see uh, the part played by lambda g by 4. These are all simple, but whereas the previous one, it is all different number, 0 0.839, 0 0.003 lambda g, like that. Okay, next, please. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, here uh, you, have, you can have different phase shift. So phase shift, if you, if you want, you can have only in terms of uh, there are the two phase. There are two books on phase shifters written by Professor Bharti but Artek. So that is the complete phase shifter book for the entire world. People take that as the Bible for designing. So there you can see it is the length that makes the phase shift possible. If you want 32 degrees, you can design. For a particular substrate, for a particular frequency, you can find out what length will give that much uh, uh, phase shift. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, this is the one. See, lambda by 8. Either PIFA or uh, PIFA size, it will be lambda by 8. Likewise, you can see 5 by 16 lambda. See, people say isotropic antenna is not physically existing. But if you have a 5 by 16 lambda radius, Definitely, you can have the same kind of property. See, uh, the length, uh, it is in, it's again another version of uh, lambda. Yes, next, please. Okay, this is the, this I already shown. Okay, next one. Okay, it's a co combined one, different co uh, components. Now it is given by mm. Mm giving value giving in mm it will not be of much use. But that, if you know in the, which band it is being done, you can easily calculate how much is the lambda g. If you do it in lambda g, you can use it even if you go for micro electro mechanical system, RF MIMS, bio MIMS, the cross section is a coplanar wavegate or a micro strip with a little, little bit modified one. Maybe the cross section, other things are different, but the length remains same. The mm will be very high when you go to micro. So if you can express that in terms of uh, lambdas, that can be used for any component, any material, any frequency. Okay, next, next, please. Okay, the length. You know, people sh should say uh, it is one of the conditions. It should be always less than lambda j by four. It can be more than lambda g by 4 also, then everything will be opposite. Suppose if you see the curve of ZSC, ZOC, whatever you get for ZSC, you will get for ZOC, but not in the same period. In the first period, yes, ZSC gives inductor. In the second period, ZSC gives, ZOC gives capacitor. So uh, these are the standard uh, formula. It should be less than. Otherwise, you take everything more than lambda j by 4, less than lambda j by 2. So these are the rules. But normally, we prefer short circuit to open circuit because 0 is a definite one than you yourself telling a free space one. OK, next, next, please. OK, see, this is what I've been telling. You find out what is the unit cell A. If it is far, far less than, far, far less than, they even put 1 by 100. So it is depends on what is for. So far, far less than lambda g, then that is how you can categorize meta material. If it is approximately lambda, then it comes the photonic crystals. Then more than, far, far greater than lambda g, then it comes to the, uh, the lens system and other things. So again, the category is only in terms of the lambda g. You find out the unit cell. That again is repeated. I will show you on FSS structure. You can see unit cell getting uh, repeated. In fact, my scholar did a new thing, uh, Fibonacci structure. Uh, that again, it is in the form of a unit cell only. But again, uh, this is where you can see. Uh, I am now uh, pointing out the sanctity of lambda in determining the structure uh, domain even. Okay, next please. Okay, the next next slide. Uh, 
Next slide, please. Okay, here you can see what is this uh, uh, lambda c in terms of the inductor and the uh, capacitor. So uh, wherever you see the length, normally if you can analyze it, you can get it in the form of length, uh, in the form of wavelength. That if you do, you can uh, do it for other frequency and other material also. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, this is again I have shown. Okay, next slide. Okay, next slide. Okay, next slide. Uh, see, this again, we are able to see different colors only because of the wavelength. Each color has got a, a different wavelength and that only makes us see different colors. Okay, next, next please. See, the, you can see parabolic dish. Parabolic dish, nothing to match the property of that. But you cannot have that kind of parabolic dish on a satellite. You cannot have it as an implantable antenna. Then you should go for miniaturized antenna. All these antenna are, uh, this is exclusively for implantable antenna. Either you go for parabolic dish or miniaturized one, it is in terms of lambda g only, but there it is in the form of a millimeter or a, a little more than that. Whereas here it is very, very small. It is 0.4 decimal, 0.4 decimal of millimeter. So the size may differ, but lambda g value will not differ. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, these are all various. I just uh, made a small summary like that. Electrical small. Electrically small means how much? Very, very less. So it should be less than uh, approximately 0.1 times of length. Then what about the height? I already showed 0 0.03 lambda g. Pi by 32, that will have the effect of isotropic antenna. You can actually see the property exactly resembling isotropic antenna. Then what about 3 by 4? 0.48, 5 by 8, 0 0.01. You can say, with that only you can say near field region and far field region. So these are all different uh, different uh, lambda. Okay, next please. Okay, you can see, um, when you take the antenna property, you now find out, um, you take uh, two, three, four, like that, anything, and keep uh, the distance different. For each of the different, you will get profile in a different shape. So that is entirely uh, in the inter antenna spacing one. Okay, next please. Uh, okay, here again you can see the part played by lambda in the circular or in the square split ring or uh, complementary split ring structure. That again you can see, you can see that uh, left bottom, what about the lumped components, how much the P should be, far far less than lambda g by 4. Again, quasi lumped one, it should be in between lambda g by 4 and lambda g by 2. And as far as the distributed components are concerned, it should be more than lambda g by 2. Okay, next please. Okay, here, uh, the application, we have got a very, very good book uh, written by again an Indian with another uh, abroad person, K.C. Gupta, Artificial Neural Network for Microwaves. There again, you can play with uh, different lambdas, especially ANN and deep learning if you do, you just at random give zero to lambda different values, you will come to know many property for different application for any particular type of antenna. Okay, next, next please. Okay, this is again, here you are seeing new types, 5 lambda by 5 by 24 lambda. Every, this value, you please put it in the equation and see what equation, what expression you get. By that, you can start deriving the property of the popular one. Okay, next one. Next, please. Okay, here you can see 
the 5 by 24 lambda in the skeleton slot antenna, the application of that. Okay, next please. Okay, in SIW, SIW also 7 by 32 lambda play a very big role. Okay, next slide. Okay, with this, I think I would like to, I think I will stop with another two more slides. Uh, this is uh, the FSS structure, which earned a good name, popular name from Defense Ministry for my research scholar Krishna Gaon's work. Initially, he designed, here if you see the triangle, the length is 1 by 3 lambda. You just see the monk book, uh, you can see that it is 1 by 3 lambda. See, now first time I am telling about 1 by 3 lambda. So this is getting repeated left side and right side. That is in the form of uh, repetition. So first design properly the first one, that you can repeat. In, in, in any case, uh, FSS is also is uh, belonging the, to the four types of uh, filters only. It is a spatial filter. It is the patent of, uh, now only we keep talking, but it was a patent of uh, Marconi. Then uh, J.C. Bose contributed little and uh, Monk uh, uh, given a big uh, theory for that. Kevu, Bose and some more here in our India, Mondal, uh, Sood uh, and Shivanarayanan. Those people are all working. Dr. Sharma also have done a lot of work on FSS. So again, you can see the part played by lambda G. Oh, next slide, please. Okay, this is the award. Uh, Prime Minister could not go there because of the wonderful work he has done. In one year, he has came out with uh, 12 IEEE papers. You can refer to Krishna Gant and Krishna Gant IEEE paper and see all the three chiefs of uh, chiefs of uh, naval, air force, and uh, army are there. Uh, Secretary is there. All are there. So why, what I want to tell is, whatever research work you do, let it not be just to get the degree of a PhD. Let it be of societal value. Rafael flight has come, you know, like that. Way. It can be used directly in the uh, defense applications, in uh, RCS reduction, like that. So make a vow and uh, get everything, make everything derived from your own. It may initially it may take some six months or one year. Then afterwards it will be just to, you can keep on add the variance and you will become popular throughout the world. Whether you become popular or not, your research work will be of societal value. See now everyone is suffering because of the COVID. COVID might in three months one person Abdullah he has come out with an eye software to detect. It is all the microwave play a very big role in detecting COVID, not only detecting in therapeutic, also in a different way, yet it has not come out, but it does a lot. So whichever field you have taken, whichever antenna you have taken, see that the work you are producing make an impact in the society, either in the biomedical society or in the defense or anywhere and then let the number of papers be the secondary. With this I thank uh, Professor Sharma and uh, all the coordinators for uh, making my presentation possible. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you sir for such a nice presentation and uh, if there are some questions I'm taking those questions. So the first question is by SK Sultan. So, sir, how can we insert a wire through different substrate material? Pardon? Sir, how can we insert a wire through different substrate material? See, in Vaya, I do not know where do you want to insert substrate material. See, uh, I can give an example. In SIW, uh, 
the wire you put a hole and then uh, metallic surface uh, metallic only uh, a small kind of ring only will be inserted substrate will not be because the whole uh, uh, structure is made of substrate only so people may use the conductor to connect the top portion and the bottom portion that way only is there but substrate uh, no need to suppose people say uh, air filled wave gate nobody will take wave gate and fill it up with air if you keep it out outside uh, it will be filled with air only so likewise you take a substrate material that is the base so no need to add maybe i do not know whether you are meaning a multi layer structure so that again a layer of different substrate only but through wire hole they insert the ring conducting ring a very very small ring that will connect the top portion and the bottom portion incidentally if you want to know about all substrate property you can refer to the book of uh, mt sabastian that is the bible for uh, for the whole world sir so next question is can you suggest some good book for terahertz antenna design okay i don't uh, remember exact name for terahertz antenna design but uh, uh bancroft is a very easy book it is just like a notes like book and there is nothing speciality of uh, terahertz as we are talking only in terms of lambda even whether the terahertz lambda g by 4 is lambda g by 4 only only thing is the uh, size will be very very small uh, we talk uh, it will be very very small because the frequency goes higher and higher it becomes uh, smaller but uh, so the that's what i it's a nice question that will make me tell once again the design philosophy is same whether it is a uh, kilohertz only thing is uh, the wavelength the wavelength systems i should have a corresponding relationship that is where our microwave centimeter wave millimeter wave same formula only uh, because it is again lambda g by 2 just because it is terahertz the lambda g by 2 principle will not get changed the principle of uh, philosophy of design will remain same in terahertz the method of manufacturing fabrication that only will differ maybe in uh, millimeter people use a uh, coplanar wave gate in terahertz conductor supported cpw gcpw or nrd the material and method will be differing and i don't remember i don't no separate book on uh, uh, terahertz uh, antenna it is, you can take a planar antenna start from your uh, james book microstrip antenna and the uh, grish kumar book and uh, like that there are so many book but uh, <coughs> easy method uh, notes like book is a bancroft book the design principle remains same but fabrication technology that only differs for uh, uh, terahertz yes yes please yeah so there is another question can you please throw some light on terahertz antenna designs in terms of lambda g see again the same answer what i gave for the previous question whatever we tell for uh, any other even if a parabolic dish it is only only thing is lambda g there it is a epsilon r is equal to 1 whereas if you come to transmission line Uh, epsilon uh, or it will not be one it will be epsilon effective there also repeater means lambda g by 2 only here also it is uh, lambda g by 2 so if you want to do that fss in terahertz uh, that uh, one by 3 lambda g only you should take care of only thing is the frequency will be different so in no way it is different except definitely the fabrication technology and the um, planar transmission line used for terahertz is entirely different you got the uh, nrd techniques then uh, insular image guide uh, like that the uh, in that way i can say um, millimeter nrd book uh, by uh, this uh, sk kaur that is uh, okay but uh, you should know the the material is different the planar transmission line used for terahertz is there different but uh, the lambda g design is not uh, going to change okay sir next question is can we design miniature size antennas when can 
which can use that earth stations which can use at earth stations oh at stations yeah. okay that's what i have been telling whether it is a miniaturized or uh, not again the material and uh, the fabrication technology only will differ see uh, in my microstrip if you take if you go to millimeter way see if you compare microstrip and slot line as impedance increases the width decreases in the microstrip in the slot line as width uh, as impedance increases the width also increases so that way machinability is better in slot line when you go for high impedance now you want to go for miniaturization so miniaturization suppose if it is for the health case implantable then you should you should take care of that uh, substrate also it is it should be bio compatible whereas uh, the miniaturization in the outside other than health relative related one there is no need of compatibility so that way the method of fabrication the method of substrate the planar transmission line that only is uh, different but, uh, but not uh, the lambda g will not get uh, changed the technology see now people are suffering maybe uh, dr sharma will tell uh, where they did that fss fabrication see fss fabrication not in many places even the uh, measurement in many places even the lrd they found it is difficult the jig and all so uh, certain things can be fabricated in, a, in in any ordinary places whereas in certain these places we say clean room you know like acl chandigarh or uh, some place like npoil so the place of uh, like uh, you can have a inup program so the method of uh, fabrication only that uh, you one, sh one should be very careful and uh, very very limited places are there but uh, the design value uh, it is always is that is that is it is that is that not that is that not square that remains same whether it is a miniaturization or uh, whatever it is mm, thank you sir for sharing your valuable information there are so many comments by the audience that uh, mm, very good lecture we have learned lambda plays an important role in designing antennas and like that there are so many comments are there okay on behalf of ieee rajasthan subsection aps chapter jaipur and ieee young professional affinity group bangalore section i thank uh, professor mm, raghavan for just giving a very insight of the lambda that without the lambda the microwave is impossible and how through the lambda we can play and how we can go through the mics we can go through the planar devices all these things thank you sir for such a nice lecture and thank you audience for being here with us i would like to say a few words if i can say dr sir yes sir sure sir yeah dr uh, rajwan yes sir great lecture yes sir please sir. yeah this is a great lecture Uh, this slide which i have seen it cannot be prepared without the experience and the knowledge what you have learnt what the knowledge you have imparted in the around the 40 plus years of the experience it gives the it shows the, that what you have done you are the one of the researcher the, that you have done it and it gives the insight how to design an antenna say by just randomly the, you know that uh, i i remember and i understand also that uh when you started this uh, antenna design earlier there was no software or if you have to do with like uh, uh, with the maxwell equations or the integral uh, equations method you need to solve with the pen pencil and then you need to design the antenna i remember that is a talk about the 80s 8085s only it was a i3d software doing and even in the 85 there, there was no computers so at that time the you started to learn doing this one then uh, all about the lambda that is the basic concept and going about the that most important thing that you shared about the information giving the naming the books say which book you have to refer either is the bancroft i remember about the bancroft that is the phi book you are talking about the bancroft is the phi book yes sir yes sir yes sir uh, probably that is a, i remember it it was out of print i don't know okay. right now but few years back it was out of print but e copy is there e copy is available e copy is there yes bencraft is a very small book and very wonderful book 
uh, so if you look about the uh, basic of about the mathematical modeling or how the antenna radiates about the microstrip uh, antennas that uh, a cavity model transmission line model all the things have been explained very well in the van kraut book but about the about, apart from this you are given a message about what you are doing the society you are going to contribute to the society or you are going to contribute towards your degree only that's the most important thing your message is there so the students or the participants the researchers which are doing not for the sake of getting the degree probably we should think over that if we can contribute towards the society that is the important message that's all that's a great lecture what i have learned thank okay, you doctor thank you sir I, i just want to tell one sentence uh, i showed one uh, research scholar uh, krishna gant getting prize from the so many big people so he once listened the talk given by dr mm sharma in the iaw conducted in uh, diet pune so the moment dr mm sharma gave a lecture krishna gant ran directly on the stage to meet dr sharma just to find out uh, where from dr sharma fabricated the fss structure so that way i would like uh, dr sharma to tell the audience where he did that uh, fss structure fabrication where you, dr sharma did that fabricate uh, that fss structure so that day in the diet pune his like his lecture purely on fss was a inspirational one so i would like dr sharma to tell the audience where he did that fabrication work you are talking about me or the another ah, doctor i mean dr mm sharma only when you were the director in punjab <laughs> yeah uh, i was yeah 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 i remember it yes uh, uh, it was the aw that we were there at the pune yes sir and aw pune yes i delivered the lecture about the fabrication that it was done by the dr sanjeev Dr. Sanjeev oh. Yadav, he did the kind of uh, fabrication. We, uh, when I was the principal at Government Engineering College, Ajmer, then we purchased some few machines about the uh, like uh, PCB designing. Mid 11. Mid 11. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so the fabrication was done. It was simple one. And apart from this, we have taken Sanjeev. We have taken the help of the IIT Kanpur also. Oh uh, yes, sir. Uh, from IIT Kanpur, we have done the measurement in IIT Delhi. I have done the same fabrication. as well as we have done the fabrication from the open market that ad electronics in kolkata as well as one of the uh, in from with the help of sanjeev suri at uh, delhi lajpat nagar from there two places we got the fabricated structures okay this is great uh, what dr sanjeev yadav accidentally i came to know that uh, uh, sanjeev yadav work was there and the uh, participant should take down afterwards from dr sanjeev yadav the full address it will pay a, so this gives a message where there's a will there's a way because i know yeah, people okay. suffering uh, where to do fss and all now very easily he told bits and also he told some more uh, iit kanpur i know dr animesh bishwas who is now director of uh, nit raurkela is a good friend of uh, dr mm sharma yeah. they all have played a very big role in fss uh, fabrication right. so uh, participants can make a note of dr sanjeev yadav and prof sharma's uh, small messages oh.